hi all i wanted to make a quick video about market outlook for tomorrow which is the 9th of may 2024 before i begin i would request you to read the disclaimer on screen and know that we are an educational channel so please read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below with that said let's proceed as usual we'll start off with our nifty 50 chart so we shall not change any level we shall leave things the way they were yesterday today was a tricky day i think i'd also mentioned yesterday that today can be sideways or it may tend to go up and sort of all all those things happen all right i don't think tomorrow also will be easy i think this market will try and consolidate in a range for some time it it wants to go lower but uh, it'll do a lot of drama before it actually does that's my view so what do we see happening next well, my view remains the same that uh, today it's gone down, it went down, it went up and then more or less closed where it started. We're talking about Nifty. Nifty has closed flat today. And I expect tomorrow also to be on similar lines. Just remember that we are looking at an Elliott wave kind of a pattern and what I think can happen is this. It starts off from here, 0, 1, 2, 3, both can end here or it can go all the way up to this blue line, alright? For the sake of this video, let's take it up to this blue line and then 5 over here. So we are in that current 3rd to 4th wave currently and it needs to complete before it does a down move again and goes to the 5th one. So that is as far as my view on nifty is concerned i don't think tomorrow also will be an easy day unless we have some global direction today uh, nikai is uh, about one one point two percent in the red and uh, as i speak right now making this video europe is marginally in the green and us is just about flat or marginally in the red it's going red green red green so unless we have some definite global views i reckon tomorrow also will be a tough day just like they kept uh, things in the range today they may try and continue to keep nifty tomorrow also in the range especially because tomorrow i reckon is the nifty expiry if i'm not mistaken yes tomorrow is thursday and tomorrow will be the nifty expiry so my my uh my view at this point is they're going to keep nifty in a tight range and if at all we see some drop tomorrow, I'm assuming that that drop will come in from the banking and financial sector. All right. So be a little cautious on Nifty tomorrow. Uh, let's end the Nifty view on that particular note. All right. So we'll take out this uh, thing and we'll save this. For people who don't know what Elliott Wave is, kindly... Uh, google it it will take you five minutes to understand what elliott wave it's no big deal it's a five wave pattern all right the uh, the levels have not changed so i'm not mentioning the lines and levels they are exactly the same as tomorrow eventually nifty will come down to 22,000 levels that's our goal in the interim it can go all the way up to 22,459, or you can say 22,450. and the middle point at this point of time is 22,235 that's where that's the middle zone and the eventual goal is 22,000 all right so let's end nifty right over, over there let's go to bank nifty i think tomorrow if at all there's going to be pressure then that will come via bank nifty and uh, the selling in psu banks may resume because today the selling in psu banks halted and uh, psu banks held their ground today some went up by one one and a half two percent tomorrow again the selling may resume that's my assumption all right again what are we looking at uh when we're looking at bank nifty chart we're looking at a similar iliad wave pattern like we saw in the nifty you can say that zero was over here one two this whole thing is the third wave this can go up till up till this blue line over here and then fall to this greenish line over here all right so currently we are at forty-eight thousand one hundred. if i'm not mistaken 
yeah it, it's not 100 it's about 48000 okay this chart is showing 48000 but uh, the other chart uh, the trading view chart is showing that uh, nifty spot has ended at uh, 4821 so whichever one is correct either ways it's somewhere in the middle it's uh, on the middle ground it went down it went up and closed a little lower than yesterday i think tomorrow it can go further down tomorrow because today was the bank nifty expiry so maybe they were holding on to the levels bank nifty was extremely difficult to trade today uh it was in a tight range and uh, it was taking both both sides i mean you buy C or whether you buy P, chances are your stop loss would have got hit. Tomorrow, I think uh, Bank Nifty will have more breathing room and it may move more independently compared to Nifty. Tomorrow, Nifty will probably be in a small range, whereas the Bank Nifty may really move. Or that's my assumption. All right. So again, we are in the middle ground right now. It can, it if it wants to go up, it can go all the way up to forty eight, eight fifty seven, or we can round it off by saying forty eight eight fifty and the eventual goal is it needs to reach uh, 47400 that's our goal it's currently at 48021 uh, or 48100 levels it needs to go to 47400 uh, that's the eventual goal in the in the middle ground there are some there may be some support at 47730 so these are the support levels you can use a similar chart just like i am doing just watch my video called advanced fibonacci retracement levels for experienced traders i don't use a normal fibonacci i use custom fibonacci levels if you want to use the same then i have mentioned in that video what the levels are and how to use it all right so on that note we'll end the bank nifty conversation as well with the with the view that the eventual trend is lower it may do some drama in between it's got chances of even going up but it eventually needs to come down all right so let's skip over bank nifty as well let's go to fin nifty again i think fin nifty also i was not tracking fin nifty today but it would not be wrong to say that it would have acted exactly like bank nifty and would have been in a range when i look at the chart now it it looks identical to the bank nifty chart so again our view will remain the same that we are looking at a one two three four five kind of a pattern and we are currently third going to fourth and eventually it needs to go to the fifth so this is the kind of pattern we are looking at fin nifty can climb if it wants to climb it can climb all the way to 21660 it's currently at 21455 eventually it needs to come down to 21026 or you can round it off by saying 2120 and uh, it will find some support at 21344 and uh, 21183 all right these are the support levels look at the screen while you're watching this video you will know the, the levels you can mark it on your system as well so these are the le levels that i'm working with and that will be my view for fin nifty not very different from bang nifty all right let's go to mid cap look at mid cap today it was the only i think index that closed in the green i think one particular company was uh, doing very well today was it bharat forge i think the results were out and if i'm not mistaken the results were very good just give me a moment to try and catch up which one it was i think it was bharat forge yeah it was bharat forge which it uh, ran up 15 and a half percent today uh so Power Finance Corporation ran up 4.6%. 4. And then Ashok Leland, two, about close to 2.5%. So mid cap did rather well today. Will this last tomorrow as well? Well, I don't know. I think uh, it's again doing the Elliott wave, but in this case, I think it'll be a little different. I think we uh, let's do it from here. I think here is a zero point from year to year one, two now, and then three will form somewhere over here, fourth somewhere over here, and then fifth it will go probably down. So this will be my outlook for mid cap. I think tomorrow there should be some profit booking. 
and some of the gains made today may be lost so uh, it is currently ended at 10938 that's what this uh, chart is showing me which is the chart on zero da it can probably open a little bit of gap up if it wants it can probably go a little higher it can go all the way till here if it wants and it will still be a valid elliot wave so the upper limit for it would be 11020 odd levels it's currently at 938 10938 so wouldn't be wrong to say that it can go 70 80 points higher in opening but then i think it will fall down and uh, it will probably close lower than it has closed today the eventual goal in my view for mid cap is it needs to go to 10675 from there it will retrace and go up again it will go to 10813 and then eventually it will fall down to 10531 so eventually i'm looking at mid cap coming to about 10500 odd levels currently it's it, it's at about 10900 odd levels so in due course i'm looking at a 400 point correction in the mid cap now whether that comes in tomorrow or it may take 4 days or 5 days to come i don't know mid cap just remember is a erratic index it uh, it doesn't move and when it moves it moves very fast it either makes you a lot of money or it makes you lose a lot of money so only trade in mid cap if you are uh, if you are really sound and you know what you're doing because mid cap can be dangerous all right so that is uh, as far as mid cap is concerned i have already laid out the uh, uh the kind of targets that i have for mid cap as you can see the earlier targets we had drawn we are not deleting them because they were all achieved and now it's again gone back up, up and it's gone back to this level i think it will again come down and uh, let me just draw the last arrow where i think it will eventually come to it will be this one all right so that will be the eventual target which will be 10530 let me save the layout for mid cap as well so with that we will end the uh conversation as far as supports and resistance are concerned and the general market outlook for tomorrow which is the 9th of may 2024 a word of caution over here would be india wix from 1011 has now come to 17 i think yesterday it has closed yesterday it had closed on 16 today it's gone and closed on 17 so india wix is rising market is becoming tighter it's either spreading it it's legs too much in some indices and getting very tighter in other indices so chances are even if your view is wrong you may st still end up losing money because the market is very volatile so i would suggest if you are really trading first of all all the gyan that i give over here or all the talk that i do over here is for paper trading which is now possible on trading view but if at all if you're trading really then i would suggest that you keep your position sizing really small and uh, be try and be a little risk averse right now because uh, the markets are volatile and there's no sense of clear direction even though i feel there's a clear cut downtrend but it's doing a lot of drama in between to go there so there's news there's political news um, there's a lot happening in the world so just be a little mindful and try and if you're trading try and trade with smaller quantities and not trading at all can also be a very good trade in the current times that we are in all right so if you find the charts are not moving in ways that you don't understand if uh, it's confusing you too much it's never a bad idea to not take a trade at all because at the end of the day not making money is better than losing money all right so on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching uh I hope I could give you some clarity because market itself is not very clear right now. So, the kind of clarity I want to provide you, I may not be able to do at this point of time. However, what a best I could do, I did. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, share the video with your family and friends. Like and subscribe to the channel; it really motivates me. Also, subscribe to our free Telegram channel. The link is given in the description below in all our videos. And thank you very much. I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.